Halloween episode. Flagrantly fragrant cuisine, seared Spanish cod, squid ink pasta, mussel cream sauce. And we top it off with braised octopus tentacle. Please excuse my face. I'm getting ready to go ahead and run the streets with the ghouls. Flagrantly fragrant cuisine, y'all. So this is the Halloween episode, so I had to do something real freaky. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Our garnish is octopus. Don't be afraid of octopus though. It's kind of like, you know, calamari. They're in the same family, the cephalopod. So one way to cook this is, take your octopus and you're gonna get it frozen. If you can't find it frozen, ask the butcher to clean it up for you. We're gonna cook it in a pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, use a large pot with boiling water in there and then dip it in there about three times. So what we have in this pressure cooker is some garlic, three smashed cloves of garlic, crushed red pepper flake, two bay leaves, and about a half an onion. We're gonna drop our octopus in here in high heat. And the octopus will cook in its own juices and we want just enough water to cover it. Just enough water to recover the top of it. And that's pretty much it. 20 minutes we come back, lock the top on the pressure cooker. The pressure will build up, it'll let us know when it's ready. The sauce we made for this creature from the Black Lagoon pasta is gonna be that mussel cream sauce. I took some mussels, I steamed them earlier, took them out of their shell, so now we're gonna add it to this pan and make the sauce all over again with the leftover strained muscle broth. See, we combine the flavors and keep repeating that flavor. We're gonna add some garlic olive oil that I infused earlier today with six cloves of garlic. Shallots. Just about maybe three tablespoons minced. Two cloves of garlic, minced. Teaspoon of minced ginger. Salt. Crack black pepper. And my secret ingredient for this, Chinese hot sauce. Me likes it muy caliente. A little fresh lemon juice to this. Now we're gonna add the rest of that broth that we steamed the mussels in earlier. Bring the heat to high, because you want it to reduce down and concentrate. So have your heat on high, you want it to actually boil. BTB RTS, bring to boil, reduce to simmer. BTB RTS. So our liquid has reduced down by half our broth. So now we're gonna to add to it our creamy element, about two cups of coconut milk. Stir that in, then we fold the mussels in just to warm it through, take it off the heat, our sauce is done. It almost is orange, the black pasta, who knew? Cream sauce is thickened up nicely. I'm gonna add these mussels right back into it. Cut the heat off. Now how's that for a delicious pasta sauce? Mussel cream sauce. Cold water. Run cold water on your pressure cooker to help relieve the pressure. 20 minutes is up, and watch what we get when we open it up. Just rolling out the dough, before we get ready to cut it, I'm going to fold it over again, like so, 
We want it to be one smooth, uniform piece. Squid ink fettuccine right here. I'm gonna drop it in some hot boiling water. Fresh pasta will be spongy to texture and taste. Leave it out overnight and then you'll get that al dente kind of flavor you want from it. So here we go. Drop it in. Five minutes is all it takes. Five minutes is all it needs. Are you ready? Check out what this pressure cooker did in just 20 minutes. Oh! Nice and bouncy. All that in 20 minutes. Smell that thing, man. <laughs> so I didn't tell you. tentacles. Now the topping for our squid ink pasta, a piece of cod. You can use halibut if you like as well or any other firm white flesh fish. So, salt, garlic oil, pepper, and some pimenton, smoked paprika. You got a hot pan right now. A little olive oil to it. bottom of the pan. Sear the fish skin side down. Boom. That cook and sear so we get a nice crust for like four minutes on one side. Flip it over, do the other side, and we'll be ready to play. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it folks, Halloween is in the books with a creature from the Black Lagoon. That's right, we got a squid ink pasta and a mussel coconut cream sauce, Spanish sear cod, and we have braised octopus tentacle to top it all off. I mean, this is probably one of the coolest dishes I've ever come up with. Get the recipe on our Tumblr page, stay tuned for more episodes. I had to go have some Halloween fun, it's my favorite holiday so I had to do a meal kind of similar to that. Check us out. Comment, like, subscribe. I love y'all. I'm about to get ready to finish this makeup and go ahead and do my thriller thing. Peace. Woo!